Hello everyone, uh, welcome to uh, my little uh, Plumeria section of the world. Um, at the side of my house I have, uh, I have a little section where I, I planted some, uh, some tropicals. Um, Plumeria, I'm in, again, I'm in zone 6B, so uh, they're not hardy for here. Uh, I bought these at, um, where did I buy these? I think I bought them at uh, the CNE in Toronto, the, the fall fair that they have. Um, so, uh, I ended up buying them, they were, they were, uh, uh, 10 or 12 inch sticks. Um, they had them sorted by color, or at least I think they were sorted by color, that's what they say they were, but, um, the last time I purchased these a few years ago, uh, they all turned out to be yellow. Um, this year I didn't buy any yellows, I got, uh, I got multiple colors, I think there's an orange one, I think there's a red one, and I think that there's a multicolor one, I'm not quite sure. So, but anyway, uh, they gave me six inch pots, or sorry, eight inch pots to plant these in. So I've planted them in, in the eight inch pots, and I've just sunk the, uh, the, the pot in the soil. So this is all beautiful uh, compost that, that we purchased and, and amended the bed with. So the, the roots for these plants are growing out through the bottom of the pot and uh, taking up the nutrients from the soil outside. Um, these plants uh, will come in over winter. So I'll end up digging them out. Um, I'll end up removing the leaves, and I will be storing them down in my basement um, in a in a cooler, dry, um, relatively unlit spot. It's it it doesn't really need to have any light. There's not going to be any any growth going on on it. Uh, you want to make sure that it's a cool spot so it doesn't try to grow for you. Um, you can either uh, bare root these or you can uh, store them in the pots. I'm going to keep mine in my pots. I think it'll be a little bit easier. Um, the, the growth on these is, is absolutely phenomenal. I don't know whether you can see that very well, but this is about, um, that's about 16 inches from, from the plant uh, stalk. Um, I don't have any flowers on them yet. Um, being that this is such a, a short climate, generally the, uh, the inflows will start, um, they usually start in the late fall if they're gonna do them. Uh, but again, this is the first year that they've been planted, so I don't have any expectations for them to flower this year. But next year, I will expect something. Um, hmm. So yeah, they're 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 growing quite well. I'm still new to this uh, this realm, so uh, feel free to forward any of your questions, or if if you have any uh, um, advice for me, uh, please uh, put them in the comment section. Um, we're gonna grow these together. Uh, over the next few years and and uh, we'll learn together and we'll uh, we'll fail together I guess I, I'll bring you guys into that for the failing process I'll say it's all your fault um, these cuttings were absolutely beautiful uh, the guy that I was speaking to uh, gave me the ones that that had the uh, the um, the double heads on them so all of them are like that so I, I basically doubled my uh, my plants <laughs> and if if that's the way to say it um, but they've grown quite well. I think so far this season they've they've grown about uh, eight or nine inches uh, on the stems, maybe a little bit lo uh, taller than that. Um, last year, because I bought them as cuttings in the fall, I did grow them under my grow lights over the season, so I did kind of cheat. I do have a winter under my belt on these guys, but uh, but uh, I didn't uh, I didn't overwinter them dormant. I was afraid that if I kept the cuttings by themselves all the way through winter, they wouldn't have enough energy to um, to grow for me this year, I, I, I was fearful that they would uh, that they would kind of go mushy. So these plants, by nature, uh, like a well-drained soil. They like to um, be on the drier side. Um, I water these whenever the soil gets dry, or whenever it rains. <laughs> the rain waters them for me for the most part, but I do I do like to keep them uh, keep them hydrated. Um, but uh, Generally, if, if, if you think that you don't know whether you should water them, wait a little while, and maybe a couple of days, a week, and uh, at that point you could water them. They, they uh, from what I understand, they, they will rot more than they will uh, die of, of lack of water. If they have lack of water, you might see them lose their leaves, but they won't, they won't die. Because over the winter time, you're going you're gonna, to um, take the leaves off, like I said, and you're not going to be watering them, so they can they can tolerate they uh, 
they store moisture in their stem so they can tolerate uh, low water conditions. So anyway, I will keep you guys updated on these and uh, we'll, we'll grow them together. Happy growing everyone.